Hi guys, <clears throat> it's been a while since I made my last videos about mining and uh, today I was going to answer some questions about that because many people ask me how come uh, those blocks are so uh, precise to each other and don't have any distance between them so you can barely uh, measure the distance between the blocks and uh, even nobody can uh, explain that. So uh, I found this article about uh, uh, dehydration mining uh, technology and as you know everything new is well forgotten old technology because we were not given uh, we were told how to do that and we were told uh, by some scientists and stuff like that and those scientists definitely uh, even if they did invent the technology, uh, they could have been using uh, the technology uh, from the ancient times, or maybe not so ancient as we were taught to think. So this is a dehydration technology or geotube technology, um, and I'm going to show you exactly how, how it works. So uh, as you can see, those tubes are looking pretty much like uh, mega league blocks on those uh, huge walls that I've shown in my previous videos and they are pretty precise and uh, sometimes uh, looking like uh, they look like uh, giant walls but imagine if uh, this is not like a three layer wall and maybe if, if it's like a uh, numerous layers and uh, that's how you can get the uh, the blocks to uh, be made so the water is uh, streaming out of those blocks uh, of those uh, devices and stuff like that and uh, you of course can see uh, many technological things this is geotube demonstration of 1997 so that's how the huge blocks could be made and uh, I'll leave you a link on those videos so you can check them by yourself and figure out if that could be possible for ancients to make huge blocks and this is some technical information so this is the device that can uh, pump up the uh, solution with the inside of those huge bags and that's how these little entrances here could be used uh, to um, fill those bags so definitely you have to have uh, the uh, solution that you can pump in and uh, for example in the, in the case of, uh, of uh, uh, Nile or Egypt pyramids you have a Nile uh, the river with this type of uh, coast and the sand and mud inside it and that's why we have uh, many aluminum found in those uh, geopolymeric concrete blocks that are uh, being analyzed uh, by many scientists from Russia and uh, world scientists um, that's why we have it uh, because it was used uh, to make a solution like this so when it's drying out it looks like completely dried concrete and stuff like that so I'll leave you a link and uh, I think you might as well check it out uh, that'll be just fine for you for today uh, so the technology is possible and uh, even if it's, no, if it's not leaching from the underground it could be used from uh, lakes, uh, from the shores of uh, rivers, from, from banks of rivers and stuff like that. And so you can make enormous blocks with this mattress or uh, sub type of uh, like subway sub type of form and that's why we have it in many areas. Uh, and they can be close to one another, uh, as you can see, and they can be, uh, they can have those little entrances in, in which uh, uh, the filters collect 
the, um, the precious metals and stuff like that. That's why we have it uh, like this everywhere in Russia because definitely those uh, places were used uh, uh, a couple of ways. Uh, first way was uh, uh, to mine, second way was to create some structures like this so it could be used uh, while you're building uh, some wall or some city and stuff like that. And that's why we have so huge megalithic blocks because they could have been using uh, uh, um, not only the bags but they could be using the reinforcement to uh, make a, a correct form like uh, like a stone and stuff like that. And this is how it could be possibly made because bags could be a uh, different size and, and uh, anyways it's possible to do that and I think you can understand what I'm saying right now so this is the only explanation how could uh, blocks be hanging over one another because uh, bags uh, while bags are made of organic uh, textile uh, they could be just uh, dissolving in a couple of years and that's why we can see uh, no bags and no no clothing and stuff like that right now so this is the way it could be possibly done because uh, mining is the um, the engine of of all uh, ancient economy ancient economy was uh, based on mining or was based on uh, collecting enormous amounts of precious metals uh, elements and stuff like that and if you think that uh, ancient people were stupid were uh, like uh, dark and barbarian you're wrong because in my couple of next videos I'm gonna show you how the puzzle is solved and um, uh, you might as well watch uh, my previous uh, videos so you can understand what I'm saying and uh, how it's made okay so thanks a lot um, check on this technology check on uh, ah, of course uh, another point on this is uh, that many blocks even in Peru have uh, little uh, entrances on them and uh, so I'm gonna show you the examples of these so this could be uh, things like uh, little let's call them little titties or something like that so this is the entrance of the whore horse uh, that are connected to those bags and that's why we have them like everywhere because uh, that's obviously the only explanation that could be actually uh, made uh, of how those blocks were made with this technology and in fact I think you always wondered why do uh, many blocks have these entrances because those are entrances of the water and the filters which collect precious metals and definitely this is not a tree stumps uh, and stuff like that so this is little titties so um, even in those titties they could be uh, using to um, calibrate the concrete with those vibrators it could be um, injected inside uh, so that's why we have so many uh, entrances uh, for those vibra vibro devices to um, harden the concrete and like mix it uh, to be more solid and um, more solid of course and so that's how they uh, interacted with those bags and those uh, concrete um, solutions inside them. So of course miners not equals the masons or, or maybe construction workers but 
in those times uh, they were using uh, the same technology for two or three different ways because they were ecological and they were um, they were simple of course okay so that's it for today and uh, see you later uh, maybe today I'm gonna start my uh, finally start my um, explanation about uh, puzzle which is sold and about the mud flood which actually did occur in 19th century so see you later bye